Hello, this is Yolanta from the YouTube channel English with an Erudite. Welcome to Franconian Switzerland, the area of outstanding natural beauty located between the cities of Nuremberg, Bayreuth and Bamberg in Germany. If you are keen on history, architecture, art and music, especially um, the music um, composed by Wagner, I really recommend the cities that I have just mentioned, but you can find examples of really exceptional beauty in numerous little towns in the area, such as this one. Or this one. Or perhaps this one. Sometimes, in the small towns, one can find absolute gems, like this little church in Croissant. I used to love visiting big cities. I was passionate about galleries and museums, but at this point in my life, what I enjoy the most is hiking on my own, hiking in the forest or visiting little towns and villages. The villages which I visit in Franconian Switzerland look picture perfect from a distance, but in fact, they are real villages inhabited by people, regular people who cultivate the land, who have pigs and cows and horses. I think the horses are owned by city people, to be honest. Sometimes when I'm lucky, I can have a cup of coffee or even dinner 
at the village inn but today I am rather unlucky because the owner has gone on holiday and the inn is closed. I don't mind really, I have some food with me so I'm going to survive the day without any problems. I always go hiking alone. Right now I'm hiking along the Jakobusweg or you know what that is for sure. And because I always hike on my own and I'm very, very quiet, I see quite a few animals. So the animals that I see in the Franconian forest are roe deer, European deer, sometimes a fox or a hare. I see and hear a lot of birds. I've just had two buzzards calling each other. You see that the forest is very, very quiet. I never meet anybody. Sometimes in a week, I meet a single hiker. Sometimes hiking is a little bit overwhelming, especially when I reach a point like this one with so many signs and I really need to, to know where I'm going. Sometimes you find a table like this and uh, if you also have a good map, I prefer paper maps to be honest, in the end, you're going to work out which route you're supposed to take. That is one of the impressive, massive rocks which are located quite near the place where I am staying this year. I can hear the climbers, even though I cannot see them. I think I can even identify the language as a Slavic language. It's tempting, isn't it? I have just come across an incredible linden tree. It's about 500 years old and it's called Tant Linden. I suppose the wooden structure around it um, used to support a wooden pedestal or wooden planks on which people would dance and probably people still dance occasionally because the tree is called Tant Linden. It's not the first tree of this size that I've seen in this region. Magnificent really. One of the aspects of Franconia which I find particularly interesting is the fact that among the cultivated fields one can see sections sown with all sorts of flowers. I suppose the flowers are here to provide food for birds, for the local birds and the migrating birds. Another feature that fascinates me is the fact that I encounter so many old orchards, countless, really countless old fruit trees. It seems that nobody picks the fruit anymore. The fruit is left to rot or to provide 
food for wildlife. I think it's a wonderful idea and I wish there were a lot of regions like this one in Europe. I am convinced that such old orchards are of great biological value in many senses of the world. Sadly, my holiday is over and it's time I went home. So goodbye, beautiful Franconian Switzerland. I do hope I can visit this beautiful area again next time. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.